So one of the other tips I discovered when I was researching how to learn the Colmac keyboard layout uh, is this idea of cheating. And I think when I read about it, it was suggested that it's not something you should do until you're really happy with it. But uh, I'm not sure if there's any point in waiting. I think it's kind of quite cool to start drilling these because we're drilling bigrams anyway. So um, I don't think there's any harm in drilling an alternative way of doing some bigrams than others, even if it's not naturally the same key you would always use for that letter. So one of the things, obviously, uh, as a web designer, I type HTML quite a lot, and that's a good case for this cheating. So you're doing HTML, but obviously you're stretching over to get to M and then upwards to get to L. So the idea being with that bigram, you move your whole hand over and you just do ML um, in that natural consecutive position. So you're doing ML without the stretch and that's great you know that stretch into the middle row is definitely something you want to try and avoid so this idea of cheating uh, in a sense when you're using the wrong finger for the wrong key as part of certain bigrams uh, is really interesting uh, you know it's when you do it when you remember to do it you see how brilliantly quickly it does feel like cheating you feels like you've somehow made a shortcut to to typing it um, brilliant little trick and obviously you can kind of work out which bigrams you want to do this cheating on so look at any middle column keys and see if there's a, a cheat to be done so column is another good example of one of these nice cheating bigrams where you're avoiding the stretch over to M instead just moving your hand over and then doing a nice roll from M to N without stretching your fingers apart so yeah little things like that are brilliant to try and incorporate and I think if you're starting to learn a new layout you might as well start incorporating those from day one I don't see that's really going to confuse you because you know especially if you're focusing on learning the bigrams rather than just learning the key placement and then hoping everything fits in together if you really focus on learning the bigrams which is the back backbone of the muscle memory for when you're typing words and then drilling whole words as well then I think it's okay to be doing this so I'm not quite sure how many bigrams there are where you could use this cheating idea. You know, are there anywhere the middle column, you move your hand over to hit the middle column and then, you know, do you, could you use your, your little finger or your ring finger as well as your middle finger on essentially the wrong column for that finger, uh, but would make an easier movement having not had to stretch the, the fingers apart to do that. So obviously, I, you know, when I'm typing, I'm trying to avoid moving my hand and try and just do everything with small finger movements rather than moving my hand around because the impact of moving your hand around on your home orientation is quite, you know, you want to avoid that. So in this case, you're weighing up, you know, stretching your, your index finger away from your hand, which is pretty awkward, versus just moving your whole hand over, but avoiding the stretch. And I think that is actually preferable in this case. Uh, you know, you, you're, you know, you're only moving one key over. You can kind of feel that under your fingers and then you move back again. Um, so you, you're not really moving much in terms of your whole hand. It's just that straight over and straight back. And I think that is easier and less effort than stretching to reach the key. In terms of accuracy as well, you know, that stretch, you lose your accuracy as you start stretching. Whereas if you're keeping your fingers roughly oriented, you know, one, you know the, the distance between the keys, you, you're quite familiar with how that feels. So if you've just moved over one column, you still kind of can map those keys out. So it's kind of like you're just moving your home position over one time. So you don't have to learn the muscle memory for the stretch. If you were to do all these biograms through cheating, um, you would never have to learn the muscle memory from stretching. You're only ever learning essentially the muscle memory for single columns over your home keys. Uh, and that's, that's quite an appealing idea. So I think the impact on your typing has got to be really good for, for doing this. You know, it's much, much faster to do a quick roll, like in the example of column. Uh, that's, that's got to have a, a positive impact on your typing overall.